What is going on guys, Ness Mudkip here, and it's time for another collection video. I just got back from MCM and uh, decided basically that every time I come back from an MCM, I will be doing a collection video because that's where my collection builds up the most. So let's get started. First of all, we have Dragon Ball Season 1 from Mangi UK, which I picked up recently. All seven of the Dragon Boxes, the Pride and Joy of my collection. Um, Dragon Box 2 has some slight damage to it there, which is a little bit of a shame because the rest of them are basically fine. Um, we also have Akira up there, which uh, Neo Games Box sent to me for Christmas. Thank you very much for that. Really enjoy that film. And we have all Dragon Ball Z movies in the three movie packs Funimation put out. Bought these at MCM Expo. They are Region 1, but whatever. I don't really care about that. I've got Region 3 player. Steins Gate Parts 1 and 2 on Blu-ray. Dead Man Wonderland, Land. The complete series on Blu-ray. Wish they got remakes. The manga's much better. Red Line on Blu-ray. Great film. Trigun and Welcome to the NHK. Still need to finish Trigun. It's pretty cool so far. Welcome to the NHK is a fantastic series, which I really, really enjoy. Next, we have some Cowboy Bebop related items. We've got Cowboy Bebop, the complete series on DVD, which is signed by Shinshiro Watanabe, the director, which I got uh, a couple of exp expos ago, which is uh, really good. Cowboy Bebop, the movie there on DVD, and Cowboy Bebop, the complete series on Blu ray. Next, we have One Piece collections 1 to 6, and I picked up 5 and 6 at Expo uh, yesterday, as of recording this video, obviously. And we've got High School DXD and Birdie the Mighty on Blu ray and DVD, respectively. Which I also picked up at Expo. Then we have Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z, the complete manga series, in Viz Big format, which is all of the original Dragon Ball manga. Uh, obviously my favorite manga of all time. And then we have Dragon Ball Full Color, um, which is the first part of Dragon Ball Z, but they label it Dragon Ball now to keep to the original, but it's in full color, which is really interesting. And then we also have Dragon Ball Daisenshi 1, also known as Complete Illustrations, big guidebook thing. <sighs> and we've also got... Um, Jump Anime Library, which is a, I believe, a art book for Movie 13, which I just saw randomly one expo and picked it up. Uh, then we have Sandland and Cower, which are two other um, one-shots from Toriyama. We've got Scott Pilgrim Volumes 1 to 4, not really anime manga, but whatever, I like it, along with the movie on Blu-ray there. Then we've got Gurren Lagann Artworks, which is a big art book for Gurren Lagann. And speaking of Gurren Lagann, Gurren Lagann, the complete series on DVD there, which I will be getting on Blu-ray soon from Anime Limited. And it also has a light-up Cordra, which is very cool. I want to keep that, even if I end up selling the DVDs to replace, uh, because I'm replacing them with the Blu-ray. Anyway, moving on, we have One Piece, volumes 1 to 39. Uh, really love One Piece, but I need to pick up more of this. Uh, I need more One Piece in my life. But because I also bought the box set for the first 23 volumes, I also have uh, One Piece Romance Dawn, the original prototype version of One Piece there, in physical format, which not many people own, which is uh, pretty cool to have, actually. Then we have Yotsuba, which is another series I really, really love. Uh, volumes 1 to 12, which is everything that's been released. And, yeah, really great. Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, Volumes 1 to 16. Now, since last time I have managed to get a copy of Volume 2 because it's been reprinted, but sadly, Volumes 6 and 8 are still missing because they haven't been reprinted yet. But according to Viz, they will be soon. And I do hope so because I want my Jojo collection to be complete. Well, if they do that, they need to actually print the other parts as well. So I hope they do that. Death Note, Volumes 1 to 12, or should I say Volumes 1 to 6, because it's in the 2 in 1 Black Edition format. But whatever, still nice. And then we have an actual Death Note, which is uh, always handy to have. There we go. And then next to that, we have um, Death Note How to Read, which is basically a guidebook for the series. Moving on to the other shelf, we have Blood Lad, Volumes 1, 2, and 3, or basically 1 to 6, because our versions are 2 in 1s for some reason. Reason. <laughs> And then uh, Bloody Brat Volume 1, which is a little spin-off thing for Blood, Bla eh, Blood, Blood Lad, which is pretty interesting. As a Manga Die, the complete series in Omnibus. Osama Tezuka's Mysterious Underground Men, really old manga, really enjoy that. Uh, Watamote Volumes 1 to 3, great series. Um, really funny. Street Fighter uh, Classic Volume 1, which is a massive hardcover, not actually manga. Um, it's actually comics, but really interesting. Mobile Suit Gundam The Origin Volumes 1 to 4, great release from Vertical there. Bakuman, volumes 1 to 20. Love this series, and yeah, not much else to say about it. Got it in the big box set, really. So, yeah. Next to that, Samurai Champloo, volumes 1 and 2. The only volumes uh, from Tokyo Pop out print now, but love the anime, so I decided to pick those up. Now we have the Shelf of Disorganization, where we have Fully Coolie, the complete manga series. Tekon King Crete, which is a behemoth of a volume, and I can't even put it around the right way. Underneath that, we have Blue Spring, there. And then underneath that, underneath that, we have Vagabond, uh, the Vizbig. Very, very great series. Need to pick up more of that. 20th Century Boys, Volumes 1 and 2. Rama 1 Half, the first 2 in 1 volume. Demo Wonderland, Volumes two, 1 and 2. Uh, Hunter Hunter, Volume 32, which we'll get on more to later. Not Simple, Salanin, and Axe 
alternative manga anthology. Now underneath that we have all of Hunter Hunter except volume 32, which I can't fit next to it, which is a bit annoying. Uh, love Hunter Hunter, really excited for the fact that it's returning soon, and uh, hope to be able to pick up more volumes. Underneath that we have Pokemon volumes 1 to 15, so that covers all of Red and Blue, all of Gold and Silver, and I have one volume of Ruby and Sapphire, which I probably won't continue picking up because they're going to do a box set for that as well. So yeah. And then underneath that we have Fullmetal Alchemist volumes 1 to 27, plus a light novel, which I don't really care for that much. Um, and next to that we have Fullmetal Alchemist Brotherhood, the complete series on Blu-ray, and the movie, and the OVA collection. And I think that is everything, so... That's my entire collection, guys. Thank you for watching. Um, please leave your own collections as responses in the comments. Wait, I, no, I don't know if you can do that anymore, but whatever. And there you go. I hope you enjoyed my collection, and that's about it. Bye.